then uh, now we're going to add 3 pi over 2, right? Bring the second one here. So times, or plus, plus 3 times pi divided by 2. Um, <coughs> yeah, okay. Copy that. Paste it in here. And uh, delete what we don't need. So where are we here? If we round to the nearest 10,000, that'll be 0.1218, huh? And that's less than 2 pi, right? 2 pi is 6.28, right? So we're well within our range here. Okay, how about these guys? So uh, it's kind of like I could take this, this other value and add pi to it, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, should I just do that? Yep. Because uh, it's a real pain in the butt. Is so um, is, no. was that this value here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say plus pi and get 3.8. Um, copy that. Paste it in here. Delete what we don't need. Uh, so we would round that up to 0.8738, right? And notice that uh, the first and the third differ by pi, right? If I add 3.14 to the first, I get 3.87 and change. So um, that's looking good. And uh, then this next one, I think I can just add pi again to this one, right? So if I if I've got this one, I add pi to 3 pi over 2, I get 5 pi over 2. So... But on the exam, all we would need is just those right there, right? Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need these approximations on the exam because there's no calculators. Yeah. Uh, but we had uh, 2 point, was it this one? Uh, 2 point, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to this one and say add pi. And get a new number, which is less than 2 pi, right? Paste that in and round it to the nearest 10,000. That'll be 2633 then, right? And that notice that 5.26 is less than 6.28, right? So we're in the ballpark. And these are the numbers in that interval where this equation will be true. Um, no, this is not going to be right. Oh yeah, I missed something. 0. 0.7 out of 1. But that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. Um, what do you suppose I did wrong? Went with myopenmath.com. <laughs> oh, is that rounding? Um, can you do the, can you add uh, pi to uh, the 0. 0.73 to do it? So 3.1415, right? Uh, because if like you rounded it up, it wouldn't mean that. I think, yeah, so I mean, the 7, I got an 8 instead of a 7. Yeah, I mean, I should have probably just used more digits, right? And it would have been fine. Um, I don't know if they saw it, but I think you rounded one of them. Oh, did I round one of them off? Yeah, but I'm not sure. Well, I've got all the answers still sitting here, right? So, history? Oh, you only get three? Oh, you get? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, seven, three, two, two, point two, one, two, one, eight. Two, one, two, one, eight. Um, three, point, eight, seven, three, eight. Eight, seven, three, eight. And this last one here? Um, which is uh, 5.2634. Four. Four. Oh. oh. Yeah, look at that. I got a three there. Man. Should have a four. You see? Nope. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just give up. Just give up. Um, 
It's still not perfectly right, huh? Nope. You know, that would make someone not want to be wrong. It's easier to run only once. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, you got the idea, right? Yeah. So if I'm looking at your score here, and I see you got a .7 or whatever. Um, Do you guys full credit for it? Yeah. I mean, that's the idea that you're, yeah. You're in the ballpark, and who knows? And it's, 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 a, it's a pretty finicky problem. Um, um, all right, so should we try 13? It's the same sort of thing, huh? Maybe this one will get it right. Uh, so again, it's um, <laughs> cosine of 5 theta. OK, so that's really this. There's, there's going to be 10 solutions instead of 2, right? So we're going to have a lot of solutions here. Maybe we can make this more efficient somehow. OK, so it's only give us Cosine of 5 theta. But the only test to give us minus two solutions? Yeah. yeah. It is negative zero point something? Zero seven nine four? Mm -hmm. uh, so where are we? What the number? What number? Well, we're either here. It's like less than 110. Right? No, no, no. Very close to 90 degrees, right? So we're either here or here. Where, you know, negative zero point zero seven nine four. Huh? is my x coordinate, so it's slightly negative. So I'm somewhere in either the, the uh, first. So phi theta is going to be um, plus or minus um, the uh, angle whose cosine is negative 0 0.0794. Now, uh, so how come we already went through? Because like okay, That's right? Because then there's this angle, which is the positive one, and there's this, the opposite one. Yeah, they both take us to the same x coordinate on the unit circle. Um, so notice that this is, um, you know, the opposite of that, right? Which is positive zero point seven nine four, and so. It's going to be the same as pi minus one of these things. Um, yeah, let's just leave it like this. So, uh, so then theta is going to be uh, plus. This is plus two pi k, right? Mm -hmm. So theta is going to be uh, plus or minus one fifth this angle. Uh, plus two pi k over five. So we're going to need to say k equals 0, k equals 1, k equals 2, k equals 3, and k equals 4. And that's going to give us 10 values, right? So what's, what's an efficient way to use the calculator here? I mean, this, this would be the answer um, on, the test. on the test, right? If this were a test problem, because you, you, know, you don't have a calculator to approximate that. So we just input the zero into there, and then we just, um, or can we just put k equals zero, one, two, three, four? I think I would be happy with that, but let's, let's see how would we do that on the calculator, because it is kind of a challenge, right? So let's uh, clear everything. Uh, how do you clear everything? Uh, we have no memory. Memory. There's nothing to say in memory and history. Oh, wait, because if I give this uh, two answers each way. Yeah. Like an on off button here I want to clear out my memory. <coughs> okay, on the this bottom right hand corner. Right. Lower right low people? No, 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 it's more to the right, more to the right. Oh, yeah. this garbage? Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so um, so we want to say um, here I've got point zero seven nine four to make it negative and give me the angle the cosine of that. And store that in memory. So I'm going to store it um, in memory. So this is 1.65. Does that seem like the right number? Pi over 2 is 1.57, right? So this is slightly bigger than 1.57. That's That seems reasonable. Uh, and so... Um, then I want to say, okay, divide that by, actually, maybe I should divide that by five and put that in memory, right? So divide it by five equals and store that in memory. Okay. Well, I'm 
I'm going to keep adding multiples of 2 pi over 5, right? So one solution is 0 0.33, right? And uh, I guess I'm going to take, uh, take the whole thing, but uh, so copy this and paste it in here. But then maybe I should keep an extra digit, huh? Put a six there. I got an extra couple of digits. Because um, they dinged me last time. Uh, so, uh, or then I could have the negative of that. Right? Oh, uh, but I want the negative of that plus pi. Uh, over two, two pi over five. I mean, we don't really have to, I mean, do this, right? So we don't really have to learn it. Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, just for the fun of it. Like, how, do you, how do you know it's equal to four? Yeah. With K. Uh, yeah. Uh, because, I, I, so I've got a 